Hello everyone! Welcome to Learn and Share. We're doing problem solving grade 4 plus and ages 9 to 10. Problem 1. Jammy saved $10 in January and $20 in February. In March, she saved a same amount of money she had saved in January and February. The amount of money she saved in April was the total amount of money she saved in February and March. If she saved in this pattern up to October, in which month did she save $210? Do you want to try it yourself? Feel free to pause the video and try it yourself. Do you want to see how I solved it? I solved it in a step-by-step -step way. Let's see it. Jamie saved $10 in January and $20 in February. So here we can use a chart showing the month and savings. Here are the savings for the month of January and February, $10 and $20. In March, she saved a same amount of money she had saved in January and February. In January, she sa saved $10, and in February, she saved $20. So, 10 plus 20 equals to 30. In the month of March, she saved $30. The amount of money she saved in April was the total amount of money she saved in February and March. In February, she saved $20, and in March, she saved $30. So, 20 plus 30 equals to 50. In the month of April, she saved $50. If she saved in this pattern up to October, which month did she save $210? Do you see the pattern here? To find the savings of any month, we have to add the savings of the previous two months. So for the month of May, what will be the savings? Yes, it will be the sum of the savings of March and April, which is 30 plus 50 equals to 80. So the savings of May will be 80. So for the month of June, what will be the savings? Yes. It will be the sum of the savings of April and May, which is 50 plus 80 equals to 130. So the savings of June will be 130. In the same way, for the month of July, the savings will be the sum of May and June savings, which is... 80 plus 130 equals to 210. So the savings for July will be 210. See, we reached the saving that we were looking for, $210. So Jimmy saved $210 in the month of July. Yay, we solved the problem. Coming up is the fun part, and that is... Make your own word problem. Here's a tip. You can choose a number pattern and try to make a word problem out of it. So here are some numbers that I took, like 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, and so on until 1024. Now we can make a word problem out of it. Here's an example. 
Rosie earned $4 in a week in week one, $8 in week two, $16 in week three, and so on. If she continued in the same pattern, in which week did she save $1,024? It's so easy to make your own word problems, right? For more word problems, click the link in the description box below. I hope you enjoyed my video. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. See you. Bye.